Representative Golez, Congresswoman Roman, Ambassador and Mrs. Christopher Thornley of Canada, honored veterans and family members, leaders of our veterans organizations, members of the armed forces, members of the diplomatic corps, distinguished guests, Magadangu Maga Sanyong Lahat. Thank you so much for joining us today to recognize and celebrate Veterans Day. This is the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. At this time, more than any other hour of any day, we honor and commemorate the unparalleled service and sacrifice of our veterans. For over two centuries, our countries have produced the finest men and women in uniform. And many are gathered here today, and many have lost their lives in battle. Our veterans are our liberators and our heroes. They are responsible for our freedom and the democracy we cherish. Today we honor those who answered the call to serve the United States when it, when it was found necessary to take up arms and defend that which we hold dear. Among them are our service members in Iraq, Afghanistan, and other areas of conflict and instability who have chosen to be away from their loved ones in order to preserve our freedom. We owe our service members and veterans a debt of gratitude. Our debt to our veterans cannot be repaid with a mere hero's welcome home. We must also ensure that our veterans are well taken care of and have the opportunities for continuing education and disability and health benefits. The United States Department of Veterans Affairs has been in the Philippines since 1922. Next year, it celebrates 90 years of committed service to veterans in the Philippines. Our Veterans Affairs Office in Manila is the only VA office located overseas, a testament to the strong ties and still growing partnership between the United States and the Republic of the Philippines. This year alone, the VA's office served 15,000 veterans and their families and provided world-class health care and over 16 million U.S. dollars in monthly benefits, upholding the sacred trust our nation has with its veterans. VA Manila will continue its grant programs to the Philippines Veterans Memorial Medical Center as further evidence of our commitment to all Filipino veterans and their families as our partners in peace. In the past seven years, VA has donated over $6.5 million worth of medical equipment to the center to help Philippine veterans and their families. As we celebrate Veterans Day this year, we also celebrate the 60th anniversary of our mutual defense treaty, which grew out of shared experiences in World War II. This treaty remains a cornerstone of our close relationship an expression of our desire to continue working to ensure peace and security in the Asia Pacific region. The Philippines is often the largest recipient of United States security assistance in the region through foreign military financing, international military education and training, and the National Defense Authorization Act. The United States has provided over $507 million in military grant assistance to the Philippines from 2001 to 2010. As we recognize and support <coughs> excuse me, the efforts of the Philippine Armed Forces to increase their maritime domain awareness and strengthen their ability to provide for the territorial defense of the Philippines, 
The United States has provided radars as part of our Coast Watch system, and just recently, the transfer of a Hamilton-class U.S. Coast Guard cutter to the Philippine Navy. As I stand before you, however, I do not think our commitment <clears throat> should be measured primarily by money or equipment. When I look at the face of you veterans today, and when I look at the thousands of white gray markers around us, I recall the moving accounts that I have read and heard of soldiers fighting together here and abroad for shared values. When I look around today, I also think of the families of those who gave their lives. Like the son of U.S. Army Private Robert L. Gee, who is here today visiting his father's grave 66 years after his father was killed in action in Batangas. Mr. Gee, will you please stand up? Thank you so much, sir. And thank you, still thank your father. I often think of my father and my uncle, Sergeant Harry Thomas and Sergeant Julius Boyd, who served here after World War II. Uncle Julius finally recalled being adopted by a Filipino family. It's a testament to the kind treatment Filipinos always show to strangers. When I tour visiting U.S. ships, I meet many Filipino Americans serving in our Navy. When I see the camaraderie that continues to develop between our service members during our exercises and training, the unique qualities of the Philippine American Alliance stand out. It is an alliance that has renewed our strength and energy as every generation recalls the service of the last and strives to uplift our forefathers' standards. Ours is an alliance that reflects our country's close ties and shared history. It is an alliance that has endured for decades and will last for centuries more. Today, as our nation continues the struggle for freedom, we continue to honor and be united to celebrate our veterans. The commemorations of our veterans does not cease today. In the words of the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, every day is Veterans Day. Each day we honor your courage, your sacrifice, and your commitment to our country and to the shared partnership between our two great nations. Mabuhay ang mga And now I have the distinct honor and high privilege of introducing our guest of honor, Congressman Roy Golez. Congressman Goylez is serving his sixth term as a congressman, representing the second district of Parañaque City. Mainit, <laughs> giving us a break, Mainit. He attended the Philippine Military Academy and the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland, from which he graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in Mathematics and Operations Analysis. While at Annapolis, he was a brigade boxing champion for four consecutive years, establishing a record as the first to achieve this feat since the Academy was established in 1845. Congressman Golez also received a Master's in Business Administration from the University of the Philippines, where he graduated as valedictorian in his class. The Congressman is a former National Security Advisor and served as the Governor of the Philippine Red Cross for over 20 years. He was a Philippine Navy officer for 14 years, reaching the rank of Navy Captain. He taught at the Asian Institute of Management and the University of the Philippines. He is a 10 Outstanding Young Men Awardee for Public Service Excellence and has been consistently named one of the Outstanding Congressmen of the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our guest of honor, a public servant, 
a boxer, a teacher, a sailor, a veteran, the Honorable Congressman Roy Golas. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, Ambassador Harry Thomas, for the very kind introduction. The veterans are here, my colleague in the House of Representatives, Congresswoman Roman, members of the executive branch, members of the armed forces of the Philippines and the Philippine Coast Guard, the diplomatic corps, attaches, ladies and gentlemen. This very moment, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, and for this year, the 11th year of the century, we Filipinos join you, our American friends, in commemorating U.S. Veterans Day to honor military personnel who served your country in all wars. We Filipinos who value the meaning of peace and who know very well the heavy costs and pain of war, join you in your prayers for all those who are buried in this magnificent war memorial consisting of more than 17,000 graves for American and Allied servicemen, including 570 Filipinos who died in the Pacific Theater in World War II, as well as for more than 36,000 missing in action. The presence of Filipino graves is a memorial to the fact that Filipino and American blood co-mingled in the battlefields of Bataan, Corregidor, and later during the battles that marked the liberation of the Philippines. I have been to this cemetery many times, sometimes for sightseeing, just to have some tranquil moments that only a sacred war memorial like this can offer. More often, to accompany a guest or guests from the United States and witness how every guest, without exception, is awed and emotionally overwhelmed by the sight of all the marble headstones set among masses of tropical trees and shrubbery. I belong to a generation of Filipinos spared the horrors of war, of the magnitude of the Second World War. Yes, spared, although sometimes we feel deprived of the honor of fighting for flag and country, granted these war dead who made the supreme sacrifice that we consecrate today. At Annapolis, the most sacred place is the Memorial Hall, which has a lengthening list of alumni who have died in various places of conflict. In my last three years as a Naval Academy midshipman, I saw many names on the list that I knew personally and who shared happy moments with me at Annapolis. Seeing familiar names of fallen comrades in arms made the conflicts and their costs more personal and a greater tragedy to me. Today, as we commemorate U.S. Veterans Day in this sacred memorial for men and women long dead, we should always remember that their sacrifices did not end wars and deadly conflicts. Today, in various corners of the world, soldiers of many nationalities still go in harm's way, fighting for flag and country. In the Philippines, for decades after the Second World War, Men and women of the Armed Forces of the Philippines continue to serve with valor, facing every day peril on land, sea, and air. Let us pray for their safety and their steadfastness in the face of dangers and hardships. And when a soldier falls, regardless of where that field of battle may be, let us recall the great lines of the poet John Donne, written almost 400 years ago, but which remain as true today as they were in the year 1624. And I quote, Each man's death diminishes me, for I am involved in mankind. Therefore, send not to know for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. Thank you very much for making me a part of this ceremony. Thank you very much.